Hi there, this is Jim Scullion. Today we're going to put under the microscope, literally, a set of 12 sketching pencils. I'll compare them to a, a more expensive set and see how they perform against them. And then we'll finish off with a, a 10 minute basic sketch of a nose and see if they are up to the task. Pencils we'll be looking at today are a set of 12 pencils by a company called EUIP Art and Stationery and they're sold through Amazon both here in the UK and overseas. The pencils come in a, a really nice black metal case with a hinge on it that holds them in quite nicely and they range from a 2H through to an HB pencils are black in colour, the red base, and what's nice about these pencils is they feel quite light to hold, but they also have a sealed base on them at the bottom, which is unusual to see in an inexpensive pencil. I'll be comparing them to my go-to pencil, which I use every day, which is the Derwent Graphic Pencil, using a 2B and a 5B from each set and a piece of basic everyday printer paper. I made some marks and let's look at how they compare. The cheaper pencil covers the paper quite nicely, the 2B. When we compare it to the Terrant Graphic 2B, there's not much difference. Again, the EU 5B pencil covers really quite nicely, nice and dark, and in comparison with the Derwent Graphic 5B, if anything it looks slightly darker. But it's time now for a much closer look, using a small electro digital microscope, I had a closer look at the pencils to see if there were any imperfections. The cheaper pencil, 2B, looks OK. In comparison with the Derwent graphic, again, fine. Looking at the 5B, nice, solid-looking graphite. No evidence of any chalky mark ridges or whatever. Both pencils look absolutely excellent. So let's look closely under the microscope and, and look at the marks they made on the paper. The 2B covers really nicely. And the Derwent, again, they're fairly indistinguishable between both. The cheaper 5B pencil covered really nicely. You see the white of the, the paper coming through and the, uh, uh, the, the holes and troughs in the paper. But... The Derwent graphic they actually looked a wee bit lighter, but still a great pencil. The real comparison comes in the price. Uh, the Derwent graphic pencils are currently selling on Amazon for thirteen ninety nine, whereas the EUI pencil, IP pencils are currently selling for four pounds ninety nine, and that's quite a saving. Let's see how they look um, when we try to do a, a piece of work with them. So I'm looking at, at drawing this quick sketch of a nose, which took about 10 minutes, using an HB, 2B and 5B pencils, an eraser and a paper blending stump. Uh, the film you're about to see has been speeded up by twice uh, the speed, um, so that you're not sitting through the full 10 minutes. Um, but it, it does give you an idea of, of how these pencils perform. Using the HB lay in the outline of the nose. Um, they seem to lay down actually quite nicely. 
I, I never go down to put to lay down lots of detail. It, it's more about just making marks, getting the rough shapes in. Um, and as you watch, you'll see you'll see how that unfolds. Um, but the the lighter HP pencils is putting that in. Now you can see how the 2B is significantly darker. And they've been laid in quite lightly at this moment in time, but you can see how how much darker it is. Um, there's no real pressure being put on the pencils at this moment in time. Um, and uh, they're laying in quite nicely. Uh, and the interesting thing for a, a really inexpensive pencil, it has a nice long sharp point that, that is holding its point, it's not snapping, it's it's working away quite nicely and it's not wearing down very quickly neither, which is a really positive sight. Yeah, the, T, the 2B fills in quite nicely. I'm not laying down, as I say, lots of, it's more of scribble marks rather than meticulous detail. Detail is not that important because when we come on to use the blending stick, um, the, the blending stump, you see that it, it, it moves the graphite around the paper. It just blends it across the paper and moves it across the paper. And it turns this two-dimensional image into a more three-dimensional image. and gives you the appearance of, of something that's coming towards you, which in effect it really isn't. Um, but it's helping to give that illusion. Um, the blending stumps can be, they, they can be bought, these little blending stumps. Um, you see I use my fingers as well. Uh, a lot of people say don't use your fingers, um, it's just a habit I have, I continually use my fingers when I'm blending, whether it's paint or whether it's oil paints or acrylics or pastel or whatever, I use my fingers all the time. Um, as long as your fingers are dry, the, the, there shouldn't be a problem. Now laying in the 5B pencil, and here you can see again how dark that is in comparison with the two previous pencils. Um, I don't use the 8B in this set, which would be really, really dark. I'm just going with three pencils for this little demonstration. Um, and they seem to be working really fine. Uh, the paper I'm using here is um, a standard sketching pad um, that was bought for 99 pence out of a, a pound shop um, just for basic sketching. Um, so the fact that these pencils are, are going on so nicely and layering so nicely and blending so nicely on such cheap paper um, it, it is really very positive as well. The, the effects looking really quite good. The, you don't actually have to buy blending stumps. You, you can make them by rolling up paper. Um, someone's already written to me and asked me, can I show them how I, how I would make blending stumps? And I do use one at the end of this video. So I'll, I'll do a wee quick video about that and show you how I make my own ones. But the, what, what I've done here is I'm using the, the 5B pencil on a piece of paper, uh, spare paper to the side. I've laid it down uh, quite heavily and then I'm lifting the graphite off with the blending stump and basically it's like lifting paint and I'm painting onto the nose the graphite um, that's actually on a, a spare piece of paper at the side um, which is very effective and it's working. Um, using the, the 5B again to, to put in some more detail around the side and then the blending stump to, to blend that out a bit. And here's the the blending, the homemade blending stump, just a piece of paper rolled up. Um, 
and you see how you can lift the graphite and just move it round the paper with with the blending stump. I'm now using um, a little. I was using it there a little eraser which is shaped like a pencil. It's almost like um, an old typewriter rubber that I'm using, um, and it helps me lift out just little subtle highlights there and here and there. And when I lift them out, I, I go back in and rub over them with my finger or with a blending stump to, to blend them back in again. Well, that's the little demonstration gets complete. And these pencils have worked really, really well. I'm really pleased with the outcome from them. And I would have no reservations about recommending them. EUIP also have a professional sketch pencil set which contains about 34 of different items which is ideal for, for anyone starting out um, and who wants to take their, their drawing to another level. It comes in this really nice little case. comes with a, a little sketch pad. Inside the case you have 12 sketching pencils which range from 5H at the hardest through to the softest being 8B. There's three charcoal sticks and three graphite sticks, one woodless graphite pencil, three charcoal pencils, one metal double sharpener, a plastic sharpener which is ideal for sharpening the, the pastel pencils, a sanding block, a soft eraser and a kneadable eraser, a pencil extender and three of the blending stumps that we used in, a, in the, our demonstration. The set basically has everything that you would need to sketch. One word of warning about this kit, it does come with a metal craft knife which is not suitable for children. So if you're buying this kit for a child, please take the metal craft knife out of the kit before giving it to the child. Personally speaking, I would be more than happy to take this set on holiday with me to help me capture sketches as I travel around. At the time of filming, this sketching set costs £11.89 on Amazon. In conclusion, both the professional sketch pencil set in the nice black case and the set of 12 sketch pencils have really delivered in terms of being able to produce some really nice work. It's quite refreshing to see a company produce inexpensive art materials that are both affordable and can create work of a professional standard. I have no hesitation in recommending both these sets. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, look after yourself and take care.